Got some a few notes here on achieving goals, right? This this was actually a podcast episode and I entitled it Inspiration plus Clarity plus Intentional Actions equals. I left it blank. It's up to you. You get to define whatever it is you want to achieve. So the quote that I start with, the the only person you are destined to become is the person you decide to be. Ralph Waldo and Emerson. So one of the coolest things about this life that we're living here, it's it's up to each one of us to determine how our life is going to play out. There's a lot of a lot of variables, but our reactions, our behaviors, the way we set goals, the way we take intentional action, that determines so many different outcomes. So what we do and and who will become and the legacy we'll leave, that's all on us. So that's also a very scary thought, right? To sort of say it's like all on me, all um, options, all opportunities, all failures, like it's all on me. So that's such a de- debilitating um, thought to think that it's all just everything is up to me. So one success secret of high achievers is that they narrow their vision. The idea of everything being on me is too big, so they'll narrow that. But that takes a lot of self-awareness. So you need to have, you know, a degree of like self-awareness um, of what like what makes your heart beat, makes you tick, what things you would like to contribute, uh, what kind of attributes you would like to develop. What and then of course as you define that goal and and what things you're into you then need to discover how you need to be, what type of person you need to be in order to achieve those or obtain that. And uh, so Randy Garn talks about clarity. He says, seeking clarity is the number one habit of high performers. I often go to the mountains to write and seek clarity. Life makes sense to high performers because they take time to understand that everything happens for a reason and they have complete control over the choices they make in the life they are creating. So they they want to feel like their effort is helping them or others create a life greater than themselves and that their life has a great purpose. So sometimes, you know, something I realized a while back was that I, you know, I had all these sort of wants or dreams such as, you know, I want to want to be a musician or I want to be a professional, I want to play professional basketball overseas or whatever. I want to be a, you know, a YouTuber or something. And, um, but that I never really great, gave great effort to any of those things because I cared so much more about like my fears or what other people might think of me than I actually cared about my dream. And, um, that, that held me back. And I, you know, I, I know I'm not alone in that. Most people sort of feel uh, a stronger emotion around their excuses or fears than they do about their sort of, you know, fun fantasies of what life might be like or what they could do. So the book True Believer explores the idea that people actually don't want to accept responsibility for their lives, especially if They're faced in, you know, with a time of despair. So the idea of of taking responsibility for my successes, that's, you know, that's fun or easy. But to take responsibility for my failures, that's not a very comfortable emotion, especially if it's, you know, a really bad time in life. Um, You could be experiencing poverty or, you know, hardship of, you know, relationships or... um, not enough to eat, can't feed your family, injury, bankruptcy, like who knows? There's a, I mean, there's a million things, but the worse it gets, the less likely we are to actually accept responsibility and the less comfortable we are with it. It's it's a pretty burdensome emotion to accept responsibility for that type of emotion. And that's why that's particularly when people are very likely to sort of join some mass movement and um, it, it eliminates sort of their personal responsibility for the current situation and it gives them hope for the future as they follow this charismatic leader that's promising something bright and shiny, 
right? And so that's where like a lot of mass movements come from. So the challenge to each of us is to sort of get ourselves in the right mental and emotional state to accept responsibility for both our successes and failures and then care more about our goals and dreams and the actions that need to that are required to achieve them than we do about our excuses. So um, Brendan Burchard uh, wrote these steps for seeking clarity. Envision the future you want, determine the feeling you are after, and number three, define what's meaningful. And then he wrote, passion plus growth plus contribution equals personal satisfaction. So you're actually more satisfied if you take responsibility and go for those things and you, you're achieving these like things that tap into your passion, they cause you to grow, they you then make a contribution. You're actually way more satisfied than if you sort of give into that feeling of like, I, I'm just going to join the crowd, I'm going to keep status quo, I'm going to follow that person, like... It, it's just not as, it doesn't work out as well for you. So I'll end with a, a quick quote from Ray Dalio. But first, I just want to say, if you enjoy this content and you, you find it helpful, please help me out by hitting the subscribe button, giving me a like. Um, that'll help us reach a few more people. Also, I mentioned the book, True Belie The True Believer, Thoughts on the Nature of Mass Movements by Eric Hoffer. Uh, if you're interested in reading that, I'll throw the link in the notes as well. And uh, also head over to my website, bronsonworks.com. All, all the books that I mention are on there. And so when you purchase through those links, that'll give me a little kickback. So I very much appreciate that as well. Um, so my da Ray Dalio quote, By and large, life will give you what you deserve, and it doesn't give a damn what you like. So it is up to you to take full responsibility to connect what you want with what you need to do to get it and then do those things. Ray Dalio.